Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Eric. And our book was Crucial Conversations. And we really enjoyed reading this book together in book club. And we're excited to tell you guys um, what we learned. So, the three choices you have when you are in a high stakes situation is one, avoid a crucial conversation and suffer the consequences. Two, handle the conversation badly or read crucial conversations and discover how to communicate. An example, throughout the book they had many different acronyms and one of them is the four listening tools known as AMP and A stands for ask them to tell their stories, um, MIR to confirm feelings, P parapar, paraphrase to acknowledge their story, P prime when you're getting nowhere, so meaning say what you think they are most likely thinking or use only if the other tools haven't worked. In the book, there is a seven-step solution to how to handle a high-impact situation, which is mainly what the book fo uh, focuses on. So step one, start with the heart. You want to make sure you know where the other person is coming from before you start a conversation um, that you know is a high-stress situation. Step two, learn to look. Always be asking yourself whether the conversation is in a defensive dialogue and try to be professional as possible when speaking to the other person. Um, three, make it safe. Create a comfortable solution and um, apologize or ask questions. Show the other person that you're speaking to that you actually care about your situation and finding a solution. Um, step four, master your story. Focus on what happened and how that made you feel a certain way and what you can do or the other person can do to improve the high um, impact situation. Um, step five, state your path. Uh, share your facts and conclusions so the other party can know where you're coming from as well as you understanding where they're coming from in the situation as well. And um, step six, explore other paths. So find out um, what other ideas can the person come up to solve the um, solution versus you kind of going by, oh, there's only one solution and this is the only solution we need to follow. And the final step, move to action. Come to a great consensus or conclusion and document who will do what by what time. That way the project doesn't get delayed any further and everyone can go back to focusing on their main uh, focus, which is the project. So, looking back at what we read, um, we can reflect on if we disagreed with anything. And so, we didn't really disagree with a lot, um, and so things that we are going to utilize um, from working with teams in the future, this is one thing that uh, we are going to utilize. Um, so, to uh, cut, a, cut a little bit, um, we need to see and hear um, our team members. Um, we need to be good listeners and then we need to be able to tell a story. Um, stories are very impactful uh, more than just like steps to do something and so with stories um, we can then feel and so with feeling uh, we feel very strongly about something we're gonna do something about it and so that's where the action comes to and what surprised us um, was you can go forward in the steps but if you don't get the truth, you don't get the full story, um, things don't work out, work backwards. Um, see what actions came out of everything. Then you can see why, like what you felt to create those actions. And then um, before that, it's like, okay, what made you feel this way? What story, what facts uh, made you feel that certain way? And then from the story, um, you can find, okay, what did you hear? What did you see to create that story? And when you get to the nitty gritty beginning, that's when you can get all of the facts, um, all of the truth, um, everything that made um, the outcome happen. Um, and then lastly, would we recommend this book? Um, personally, I would recommend it, certain parts of it. Um, I wouldn't recommend reading the whole book. I would recommend going through and finding the um, main points and reading those and um, delving inside into more of that. Um, but in the end, not a recommendation. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our project.